Business Brain, the show for entrepreneurs, episode 416 for Wednesday, January 18th, 2023. Greetings, folks, and welcome to Business Brain, the show where we take our business brains and apply them to everything we can find in our lives because. Our lives are lived by one person, and that's us. And so, you know, we're doing our business, well and we're doing our personal stuff, and uh, yeah, yeah, all of that good stuff. Uh, here, for the moment, anyway, in Durham, New Hampshire, I'm Dave Hamilton. In Lafayette, California, coming to you from the first sunny day in the month. That's a lot. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. It's good. 27 trillion gallons of water has fallen on California in the last uh, 30 days. Wow. Trillion. Yeah, I don't know who they got to measure that and how they got it so quickly, <laughs> but, but you know, take it for what it's worth. It's it's a big number. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. That's a yeah. lot, man. Wow. Well, I mean, I lot. guess that's good. I, I realize it. The, yes. the 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 velocity and and uh, time compression under which the rain came was very much not good for a lot of people. But yes, getting all that rain, I suppose, is good. So yeah, uh, you know, rain over lining, snow, very very. Yep, to snow, snow particularly is really important because that's yeah. what California uses in the spring to trickle the water down into reservoirs. So without the snow, we're a little, it's a little tight here. And since our water system was built for about 15 million people, and now there's about 41 million people, but this is not a show about water. <laughs> so no, we're not going to get into that. But well, it's, but it's a show it's about using our business brain. So I, I you know, yeah, if there was somewhere to, using, yeah, 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 I, the, the, I am the, curious though. I, my my rambles in the intro there reminded me of something that I did years ago that with Derek that very much was a a a use of my business brain, and that was realizing, of course, that I am one person, regardless of whether I am you know Dave from the Hamilton family or Dave from Backbeat Media or Dave from Business Brain or Dave, the drummer in Bitter Pill, or Dave, the drummer in Fling. Like, I'm just the one guy. And that realization made me decide to consolidate all of my email into one box. Now, I oh. there, there are many addresses yeah. by which I can be reached, and that's so that I can put on the right face for each of our businesses and you know, all of that th stuff and, and the bands that I'm in. And, and of course I have a personal email address as, as well, but they all come to one box. I'm, I triage exactly one inbox. And, and it's because really? I realized I'm just the one guy I, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to deal with these things as I deal with them. So I'm curious, do you, it sounds like you, you don't do that. No, I, I want to. I do want to talk about this. Apologies, for my dog barking in the oh, background, that's fine. but yeah. he's in here today for uh, for various reasons. Um, so when you reply, do you have to, you then have to select the from who you're replying, f which account you're replying from when you send it back? In theory, I I need to be mindful of that. Yes, Apple's mail clients, and when I say clients because they are on Mac and iOS and yeah. you know iPhone and iPad, they do a fantastic job of choosing the from address to match the mm. to address of the email okay, from yeah, which I'm replying. Yeah. But if I'm sending out a brand new email, then yes, I need to be mindful of what address that's coming from. That is so ingrained in, I was going to say my workflow. It's ingrained in Your my system? psyche. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That is wow. a fundamental system for me. So it's really just not a big deal. I mean, you also need to choose the from address when you send a new email out. You probably just do it by choosing the mailbox first. Yes. But, yes, that's correct. But you're you're also mindful of it because otherwise, you yeah. know, you'd, you'd for, you know, Shannon's closet, you'd be sending an email out from business brain. And not that yeah. that's the worst thing in the world. Correct. I, you it's know, not, but not. but you like to compartmentalize at least uh, on the surface. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, well, I, I do it. And this is really worth talking about because it's about time and mm -hmm. productivity and everything else. So exactly. I'm glad you brought this up. Um, the way I separate them is really, uh, well, <laughs> I, I'm not consistent with this either. So I was going to say personal and business, right? Yeah. Uh, and I don't even know um, what that means anymore. But yes, okay. exactly. Right. Yeah. And, and I also have 
but I do have different ones that I I do I use some services that I'm just re- well I guess I could forward them all to each that's, one. But that's I what I do man. is I forward them all to one. I have one that's inbox a, to uh, rule them all, man. I, and yeah, I, I will tell you it is it is one of the best things I've ever done for me. I'm not saying that this universally is the yeah. only way, right? But I know that yes. for me, the way I can be distracted by things, if I had to go through yeah. five effing inboxes <laughs> every day, okay, well, how, many, day? how many, let's, if you had to, if you had to pick a number, mm-hmm. how many emails would you say, not, not just come in, but emails that you, that require your attention, how many per day are you uh, interacting with, if you had to guess? Like, in terms of either, like, taking action other than deleting or filing the email. Is, is yeah, that a not, fair... Yeah, that doesn't count. That everybody, doesn't count. Yeah, I okay. would say something that... You, let's, it could even be something that... Yeah, some sort of action. You some, had to some action. call someone, yeah. reply, even just replying to that. How, how many would you say per day? Um, that I'm actually taking action on... Yeah. I'm yeah. going to say on an average day... 20 to 40. I was going to say 30, but some days it's less, some days it's more, but you know, it's, it's in that range. Yeah. Yeah. I, 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 uh, I probably, I, I'm thinking the same thing. Like how many would I have and how do I keep it? I could and, be very you know, wrong. That's a, I mean, that is a number I yeah. pulled out of my, out of thin air. Yes, I mean, yes, you yes. know, so well, I, when thinking about it, I do have some, uh, accounts forwarded to a, a Gmail account that I use all the time. Yeah. I do have, uh, you know, some other ones that are kind of tied in. And so I, I, I can't say I, I have a consistent system. It's, it, it's just been kind of set up over probably over time. Yeah. Um, and, and I, maybe I don't know. Well, I shouldn't say this, I've used it for years, but the Apple mail is not my, I, I use it because I have certain accounts that go in there. Yes. But, um, uh, uh, all the features that uh, that like I use Airmail or Airmail Two, I guess uh, on the Mac, and I really love it. And it's you, on, on you're talking about Air? Oh, Airmail the the, Airmail, the the app. The app. Yeah, I the think app. that only yeah. works with Gmail, right? Or is that that not the case no. anymore? Okay. Uh, no, it'll work with. It works for my like my shannongene.com. It works with anything. Okay. Um, okay. But it has a ton of stuff, and and I have various mailboxes and that kind of thing. But oh, yeah. Um, yeah, it's really that. It, that is very, a really interesting um, concept of coming into one. I, I, I guess I could do a two week, one of your two week experiments, and see. Um, I mean, I just if you're doing to... that two week experiment, you are. It's a lot. You're you're doing it just to trick yourself because going yeah. back even from one from day one of that yeah. would be. Trouble. Yeah, I mean, well, I guess it's not that terrible. You're going to put in, uh, expect to put in an hour just to go through your, you know, five or six email accounts, set up all the forwardings. And then what you yeah, need to yeah. do, and and this is a critical part of this, you whatever your one inbox, wherever that lives, it needs, you need to be able to reply and send mail from multiple addresses Correct. from that box. Google yes. is that great. was the first thing that got me. Yeah, yeah Google's great for this. Uh, I and I used Google as my, uh, you know, a G, even just a regular Gmail account will do that, no problem. Yep. Uh, yep. I used Gmail to do that for a very long time, um, two or three years ago. I do that now. Okay, yeah. so you're fine there. Apple's iCloud will not do that. You can reply from a custom domain that you add to it but only yeah. one and it needs to be the home for your custom domain. So it's, it's not like they have like a, an ability to send as another a, a thing. I use fast mail as my, as my primary inbox these days and fast mail oh. uh, does allow for that. There, it's a very it's, flexible yeah. email service, um, much geekier than even I use, but, and which, and I say that in a good way, like, they have their, they have a great web interface for creating mail filters. And if for whatever reason, and I, I really don't even know what this reason would be, but if for whatever reason, that's not flexible enough for you, you can literally write scripts to tell what your mail, what to have, what to do, which is amazing for like filtering and yeah. things like that. Well, I, I started and I, I well, go ahead, go ahead. I'll, and I, I'll and I, I was going to say, I do use some f- filters. In fact, I would say I rely heavily upon filters. I have some 
like we all have, I'm sure that I've created that are very specific to my workflow. And then I do use a service called SaneBox that grabs all of the kind of newsletters and puts them into a newsletter folder. And it does this intelligently for me. I can yeah. tweak it, but it it's, it's pretty smart about what it does. So that allows me, but really all that's doing is allowing me the power of triaging the stuff that is important versus at one time and stuff that is not so important at, at a different time. It, it, it just allows me to sort of bifurcate my triaging, but I would need to do that for five accounts. If I had five accounts, uh, it, you know, yes. like I get a lot it's of same box just runs and runs in the background. It's a service that you filter the mail through. Yeah. Same box actually logs into your mail server as another client. Um, mm -hmm. it, it, it's a, it's a service that acts as a, as a mail client. Um, it uses IMAP if, if for folks who know yep, what IMAP yep. is for mail. Yep. Uh, so it logs in just like, you know, your, your mail, like your air mail does on your, you know, that, that client or your mail on your phone or your, you know, your computer, whatever it logs in and watches everything that comes in and watches what you do with it too. Because if I take some, if it filters something into like the newsletters box and I say, if I don't want that to be in the newsletters box ever again, all I have to do is drag it to my inbox and same box will it. see that yeah. I did that and train it just for me. It doesn't change your training yeah. for those emails. It changes, you know, just for yeah. that one user, me. So, okay. So, uh, so I, two things for me is um, I've kind of fallen. I, I realized it, it, it's a good time to discuss this because my, uh, my system has kind of become overburdened uh, of late. I've realized that as I'm working with all this uh data and I'm about to launch something else, something new that will require even more input of, of <laughs> emails and things. So uh, it's, it's a good time to have this topic. Yeah. Um, and so the question I have well, now is my question um, is, okay. So I find I, I still, and, and may, maybe I'm the only person left on the planet that does this, but I often kind of use my email box as a to-do list. Uh -huh. right? Same. And I, you say, okay, but the, the, the question is, are you getting to like, uh, inbox zero? Are you getting oh, no. rid of everything? That's, that's, that's an insane, <laughs> um, I'm glad to hear you say that. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, yeah, but I do. do so I, I triage my mail. I mean, I, yeah. I probably triage it more times per day than I should. It, it like, it, yeah. it, you're right. Which is why having one inbox is at least better than having five that I'd be triaging all day long. Uh, yeah. But once per week, and I have it on my calendar for Tuesdays, on Tuesday mornings, I spend, you know, 30 to 40 minutes, whatever it works out to be. I yeah. sort my inbox by, normally I'm sorted by uh, the, the date that it was sent. And, and for me, okay. for people who really care, I, I can't imagine this matters, but maybe it does. Um, I have the most recent stuff at the top. I know people who do the, the opposite, like whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, for those 30 or 40 minutes on Tuesday mornings, I sort my mail by who it's from. And sometimes I sort it alpha through, you know, a through Z sometimes Z through a, and there's a reason for this. And I try to alternate weeks and I go through everything. Uh, and I, and that's where I, I know I'm not going to get to inbox zero, but in for the that type of thing where it's like, let me just clean up whatever I've left as cruft in my email box. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. I'm going to go through and and catch all the things that I might have missed because sorting by date sent, you know, like at the moment it's it's and I didn't do this this morning because th this is a weird week for me. I'm traveling. I did it yesterday, but I've got maybe 30 things in my inbox now. Most of them, I would say, you know, 20 of them, and I might maybe have 40 things in my inbox. So uh, 30 of them are this year, right? And today's this, okay. the, the, yes. the 17th, recording on the 17th. It's going to release on the 18th. The rest, some of them go back to 2019. These are things yeah. that I, I know, like, it's like, I know why I still have it there. I, it, you know, I'm, I haven't punted on that particular project yet, but it's just not important. So it, it's, it's not there. Right. Uh, but, um, but I do that thing on Tuesdays to make sure I haven't missed anything first and foremost, uh, because it's possible for something to just get lost in the shuffle of a, of a crazy yes. week or whatever. Yes. 
And I don't like that when things do. So at this way, at the very least, it's, you know, a, a full week and, and I catch it. I'll see it. Um, and then the others is if it's a part of a bigger project that maybe I have intentionally, you know, moved past and it's like, nope. Okay. And on Tuesdays, I will either, if I can, I will just address these emails as I'm going through them, which is why I alternate between A to Z and Z to A, because by the time I'm more than halfway through, uh, you know, my pace increases and, and my patience decreases. Right. So, okay. uh, yeah, sure. yeah, you know, I just, sure. I want to be able to give things time. So those of you in the, in the middle of the alphabet, I'm sorry. Uh, it, you know, you never get prioritized, but that's okay. Um, but yeah, I, I, I'll go through and either address it in the moment or if I haven't by that point, and I know it's something I want to do. I'll add it to my to-do list and be like, okay, here's, I'm going to, you know, or I even put it on my calendar. Like, okay, this afternoon or, you know, on yeah, Wednesday yeah, or sure. something at two o'clock, I'm going to go through and dig into this, whatever thing it is. But yeah. So I do use my, my inbox as a, you know, as a to-do yeah. list, just like sure. most of us do. I think. I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not, yeah. not as special as I think. <laughs> no, but the one <laughs> inbox, man, like it is. I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to, Get it going because I, I I agree that I have uh, my life isn't yeah. I can't bifurcate my brain no yeah. I can't bifurcate I mean I shouldn't bifurcate my attention uh, but I certainly can't bifurcate well, my person and and so true but you like I, I'm thinking about your everybody's unique you know everybody's situation. a special snow snowflake yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. and so. I'm, I'm trying to figure out, okay, my business here, how can I deal with that? How do I deal with this? This I, It's kind of interesting. In this new, uh, er, you know, time of my life where I'm, I'm a solopreneur, yeah. you know, again, it's like, you know, versus having a bunch of people working for me like I have for the last, you know, 25, 30 years. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, but but I, I'm definitely, I, I'm going to put some effort into this and I'll come back and report Okay. How it worked out really well, or it was a complete disaster, and I'll blame you for it. No, you totally um, should blame me. I mean, yeah, here, yeah, here's yeah. the thing: you op, you are, you are a productive person. I, I don't, yeah, I'm like I'm not, you know, puffing you up, telling you that. I know you know that, no, right, right, but right, right. clearly, your system is not so terribly broken no. that it's it's detrimental. And in fact, your system for you might be better. Then the Maybe. one inbox to rule them all. So it's possible that you'll head down this path and be like, uh, yeah. I don't know what's up with Dave, but I think he's an idiot. You know, th yeah, how, and, yeah, but, I if, doubt that, but you never know. Well, but if but, you, but I would say pro productive, but I think there's certainly a question of efficiency. And I'm an efficiency right. maniac. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So, That's the only well, way I can, I can get, be productive is to be efficient. Yeah, if I can yeah. make it more efficient and yeah. easier to deal with. And, but see, sometimes like, one of the things that I'm thinking of as we've had this discussion, which we weren't planning on having, so this is just no. The, the, I had the pure a, benefit of ourselves. I had another topic that Shannon doesn't even know about that I was going to talk about, and then we we I fell into this. Actually, one. have show, and we and then after that we actually have show topics, but we'll get to those. Well, next yeah, time. that's right. Uh, but like, I have some accounts that I only keep on my computer, which forces me not to access that information when I'm away from my desk. Okay. And that's a really good system for me. So I may, I, I will, because I'm, I should yes. be, be transparent here. There is ah, here. one exception to this and it is the questions that come into my Mac geek gab podcast that okay. does go into a separate inbox. Yeah. Um, and, and I carve out time and, and I could, I, I do actually have them come into a separate inbox. That's just because it was the easiest way for me to be certain about filtering things, but I could just as easily do it with filters, but they, they never hit my main inbox. They hit yeah, a separate it. inbox that I look at, at very specific carved out times. Cause I, to, to, to go through those, I need to be in a very different mindset and I need to be sort of heads down. Yeah, sure. So, it makes but, sense. but, it makes that, sense. but other, okay. if they came into my inbox, I would just file them as, as soon as they came in and then go do them at a certain time. So I, I just automated that part of it. That's all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And you like fast mail. Fast mail is not in the app store, huh? It's oh, no, fast direct, mail right? is not an app. Fast mail is a service. Fast mail oh. is my mail host. That's so where my oh, mail oh, comes oh. into. So instead of say Gmail, I yes, use yes. fast mail. Yes. Oh, and then you, 
you use the what what client are you accessing it with? all apple mail client i i use wow. apple's default mail well I, there i have a whole rant about that it, it i used to use third party email clients third party e email clients th other than like apples um and maybe thunderbird although I, i'm not certain about this email clients are written to scratch the itch of their author I, that's th hmm. th 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 like I, i've learned this i've learned more about Rich Siegel from uh, Barebones Software by using his, I don't think it's still in existence, mail client called MailSmith than I have sitting down and having like hours long conversations with him. You can learn a lot about somebody by, by getting into how they manage email and how they think the right way is. Every third party email client is very particular about the way it does things. That's not yeah. bad or good. It just is. And the problem is every third party email client is basically at the mercy of that author to keep building it and yeah, changing email clients. It used to suck a lot more than it does right now. Now it's like, yes, because yes. it's all server-based, it, it sort of yes. matters a lot less, but I hated when I had to change from Eudora to MailSmith and I hated it even more when I had to change away from MailSmith. And it was at that point that Mac OS 10 was coming out or OS 10, I guess they called it at the time. And I was like, that's it. I'm just going with Apple's client. I'm guaranteed as long as I'm using an Apple computer that Apple will continue making this client and I won't have to migrate to another email client for as long as I shall live. And that's why I use mail. Fascinating. Yeah. Okay. Well, we're all about systems here on business brain, right? We we're constantly trying to make things uh, better, Absolutely. more enjoyable, more productive uh, without taxing your brain. So, Come, you know, send us an email. Tell us uh, what system for the massive influx of email that we know you are getting. Tell us what system you're using. Feedback at businessbrain.show. And remember, if we talk about your email or mention it on the show, you'll be entered to win a, uh, a MacBook. Uh, absolutely. And, I, and Shannon, I, if you do wind up trying this or any of you, if you switch to this and find out you like it, sure, let us know. Feedback at businessbrain.show. But... I'm really interested to hear if you don't like it, and especially if you find it less efficient than your current system. Tell me, I want to know because I, yeah. I, if there's a, if there's a more efficient system, I'm going to change to it. So I want to know. Thanks for listening, folks. Feedback at businessbrain.show. MacBook Air. Keep living that charmed life. See you next time.